child, uh, uh, if there's different children involved, uh, I should say there's more than one child with a different, with a different mom, uh, these are all very, very challenging issues and that may require waivers of some kind, and sometimes you just can't represent everybody in it. But uh, uh, it's very important. The other thing is a, ch a child really doesn't have to bring their claim until they're 18. So that's the other point to keep in mind with, with in terms of, of identifying the client. Uh, I'd say you should uh, conflicts amongst uh, spouses and parents. These are all uh, issues that really should be worked out uh, at, 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 as soon as you can. And, 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 and because even if you're on the defense side, you may not be able to resolve the case. You may not be able to resolve the case because you may not have all the parties. And then defendants want closure. Uh, and so if a case is going to settle, they need to know if there's a missing dad or a missing mom or there's uh, missing children. Uh, and, 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 and you, as a plaintiff lawyer, is trying to figure out how to get those people in court. Now, you can sue them and put them on uh, as defendants. Uh, I haven't really done that in the past. I've tried to find everybody. But I just want to let you know this is a most challenging component of a case.